Okay, let me think. What was the one needed in this? I don't think there's actually any required powers for this. I think it's mostly just all do-it-yourself. There is one puzzle, though, that I may mess up just because I don't... Like, it's another one of those, hey, the solutions may vary kind of thing, but I don't really have... I, Painter guy is going to draw things you associate colors with the things. I mean, all I can do is make educated guesses, <laughs> but I have a very little faith in the Kirby, the Kirby land. Oh, give me that power, please. And stop killing me! That's the first time we've died by losing all of our health, I want to say. But that was horrible, because Kirby was not doing what I was asking him to do. So, cheers for unresponsive controls and little health. Now, if we could eat this, kill him. That's a start, I suppose, even though he still took damage. Kill that guy, too. I don't know who the hell he thinks he is. Alright, um... Oh my gosh! That was close. I didn't see that because I blinked. That's what I get for <laughs> blinking while I play games. Shame on me. There are certain parts I know that are advised to jump up like that. Go away, please. Thank you. Fuck, Sir Kibbles and Bits. I don't want anything to do with you, Mr. Bug. I just want you to go away. Thanks? Okay, thanks. Now go away. Now we gotta let Gecko guy here. I don't know what he is. He's just a green phallus. There, I said it. Are you happy? Crystal Shard up here. That's one. Once we actually run into another power, I'll probably switch up. I'm gonna need you to desist in living. Uh, we'll throw it away for now. <laughs> we don't need it. This is also another one of my favorite levels. It's great. It's a mall. And I just think it's super cool. I don't know why, but oh my lord. Did something... Uh, okay, I, I ate him. Apparently I ate him. I don't know. It's just great. I love it. And from what little of the music I can hear, it's still pretty good. Is it the first level music? Is that why? Hi, there's a fish. Go away. Alright, that wasn't how you throw things. That wasn't even what I asked you to do. Go away. No, I don't want you to eat on me. That was quite a sense. Anyway, this one kind of abstracts your view, but it's not too difficult. It's just overall a really cool, fun environment. I like it. And it, you know, feeds the whole earth thing, obviously, but... That's all there really is to say. I just, I really like this level. It's super great. Oh yeah, this is totally that one music. So great! There's so many things about this planet to enjoy. And then he's, you can't really look at it without thinking of a warp pipe. That's just a shadow. And that's a Gordo hitting me in the Bahonkas. Go. For the most part, the Gordos aren't a pain. I mean, in that area, at least they're not. It's just, I was having a moment. Okay, now's our chance. We're, we're going to make this happen. If we can. Okay, we're going to walk all the way here. Keep him in our mouth. It, we'll take it anyway. Is he gone? That's it? D he didn't want to respawn for whatever reason unknown to me? Hit the spitter. I don't know. I don't think you can kill him by jumping through his web, though. I want to try. Uh, maybe I can't try. Sir, I'm going to need you to... Didn't work. Then again, he was also so high up there. No, we were going too fast. No, it doesn't work. It was worth a shot. Would you to pick a direction? Same goes for you chaps, up here and above me and all that. Go. Die. Kirby, would you get out of the hole? See how hard it is to just stand on the edge? Christ. There, he's dead. Now get the shard. We're done. Challenging everything. This is what I'm talking about right here. All I know is it's lemon and peach. What appeared... No, it's not lemon. Something and peach. It looks like a donut. 
A teardrop that's halfway opened, and a peach. A cookie, maybe? And then water? Because here's where the colored part is, and they have brown. So I'm going to try brown. They don't have blue. So what could be... What could be that shape? I don't know what it is. I just know the last one's pink. See, last time I got lucky because it was like grapes, lemon, peach, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty simple. So it's not... It's not going to be purple or yellow, then. We'll try green. Didn't work. Okay. Trial and error time. Also, I don't know what the hell color this is. In case you guys don't know, I'm really bad with oranges and reds. Can you change it? Okay, let's try this one, this one, and this one. Did it work? Hell no. Hey! Whatever it was, it's this color. Yeah! See, I wanted to—I meant to get around to looking that up just so I could under identify all the different possibilities, but I never did. Also, this part, you can literally just run, and it, it's impossible for them to even hit you. Another thing I learned is that if you have the drill ability, you can pretty much just let the drill guide you, and a lot of the times you're really just safe. Except for that time, because that was fucking bullshit. Thank you, game. Always, always there looking for me when you push a bug in front of my face that's gonna, you know, get a bookshelf falling on me because bookshelves are horrible creatures. People encourage reading. Reading just encourages violence. See, it's doing it again. I read something where it's like, no one ever tells you to be quiet because your book is too loud. Me being the typical dunce I am feels the need to tell someone to stop reading because their book is too loud now. That's what I want to do. That is a goal I have. Also, this bit kind of reminds me of Gomon <laughs> because of, uh, what's it? Uh, what's that area? Mystical Ninja, that's the last, the very last one. But, I mean, it's a fish tank, so I'm not gonna, like, I can't penalize them. However, I will say, ooh, of all of the areas to stand out the most in this game, I would have to say it's probably this, uh, this world right here. I guess we're just gonna cut her then. I don't know what I am, but I'm trying to kill you. See if we can flip our way around and stuff. It's slowly making progress. I think we, yeah, we got all three shards. I don't know the names of all of them, I'll just put them on screen for you. I hope those... Because that's a thing... Ooh. Hold on. I'm not really sure how effective this is going to be. But uh, this is a power I do want to merge. Excuse you! God. Is it too late for us to get the rock back, I wonder? The rock! <laughs> Can we get the rock? No, the rock was way back there. Huh. Alright, well, fuck it. Yeah, here's a power we haven't actually mixed yet. Uh, spark plus spark. I don't know how we're going to get this guy back up. Come on. If Kirby would stop disobeying what I'm telling him to do, we could fucking do it. You see this? Hold it. Hold it. There. Do you see how complicated... Oh my goodness. Good, we still got it. Spark plus spark's interesting because it makes no sense. Somehow you're just in a bigger force field and giant lightning attacks and things like that. There's a spark right here I could have used. You guys are the worst. I fucking hate you all. Like, I really do. I was hoping to get rock and ice because I don't understand what the ability is supposed to be. It looks like a fucking hockey puck or something. But, uh, yeah. That's all there is to say about that. We need to move... I want to say if you actually activate it, it 
to tears the um yeah you see how that force field got bigger around me like i want to say it's just it's power range or whatever but like sometimes it'll just strike lightning on things you're supposed to be invincible as long as that's around you you twat oh this is problematic wait are those little cover bits all right i want that i need that i need to not get shot as well come on there let's leave kirby this mall's dangerous they have fucking tanks in a mall really also, I don't really look forward to... Oh my gosh, we've messed up again. Is there even... There's nothing even over there worth getting, Kirby. Oh, I'm just gonna get nothing then. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to how much lives and stuff I have. Alright, this is another super cool level, but I need the drill power-up to start. So I'm gonna go get that real quick. Anyway. This is a really, really cool level that holds its own exclusive track. Obviously not this one. Anyway, we've got the drill. We're here at Santa's workshop to find out that he has a secret in underground bunker. Yes. I don't know, but this is where it gets so much more interesting. The idea that it's like, this is Earth, and then you get to look at all this stuff, and it's crazy and creepy and fucking cool. I love it. I could actually get this chance now to show it off. Anyway, real quick, uh, we want to drill a hole in each of those blocks. Now, the reason I brought up the whole reds and orange thing that I was talking about is because I actually didn't understand what power I was supposed to use at first. And then I was like, oh, yeah, that kind of makes sense, because there's... Fuck off. There's a little... Wait, wait, wait. Go up, Kirby. Put that there so he doesn't hurt us. There's a little wall right here, so you can't go there, but based on that little fence, you'd really never know that. So... Yeah, it took me a little bit, and I was like, oh, that's orange? I didn't realize that. So I was, like, trying volcano and firework and other things like that. And they didn't really work. So there you go. Speaking of rock, how's it going? This gave me unknown trouble earlier, but it still remains as one of my favorite levels, just because it's so cool in, like, the craziest way. It's this little factory thing that holds nightmares like these guys and if they hit you they're a one hit kill so don't let them hit you I just got really upset because it's like hey when you like something you don't want to do bad at it like oh this is my favorite level it's so cool and then when you shit at it you feel like shit like for starters I hit him so fuck that I'm glad I got an extra life and it was kept giving me endless amounts of trouble a lot of it was just me being careless this Gordo is so strangely placed that a lot of the times I'll just hurt myself on it. Quickly. And then sometimes you'll get squished and it's like, um, I'm nowhere near that, so... That gets irritating as well. But whatever. It's it's still a super cool level. That was a good time. Go. Thank you. Go ahead. Put your hammer down, sir. And something about these giant robots that just have little hammers on them. They're cool because they got sinister looking teeth and a hammer on their head so like I don't know what's going on but it's crazy and it's interesting and I love the way King Didi will just throw you and be like alright have fun you're on your way alright probably not the wisest idea but it's worth trying however next we're actually going to need spark plus cutter and there's cutter the thing is that it's so stupidly difficult to get a, the ability like, it took me quite a long time to try and figure out and understand how I was supposed to get it. That you gotta get Spark first. And then focus on Cutter. Like, it blew my mind. Also, this little bit right here, but with these pipes and all that, and then the conveyor belts. That makes me think of Crash Bandicoot. Uh, the huge adventure, for in particular. But yeah, how it had the factory base levels as well. And there's a black cat! I don't know why it's there, but it's there! in a test tube and he's bigger than Kirby alright so we want to get rid of this now so what you do is there's these spark guys suck on them and you will fall down and get it the reason this bothered me is because I tried holding the ability above my head and jumping into them that would kill the ability I tried throwing it up as long as you're on, con on these conveyor belts Kirby will not throw something up 
I assumed that if I was jumping here and sucking, that it would just instantly run into the wall. That's not the case. Why you would jump to this conclusion, I don't know, but for some reason, that is the way you're supposed to do it. That is the only way you can get this ability without having to redo the level. So it's really dumb, I don't like it, but whatever, I got it so I'll live with myself. First things first, break that, and then we have boss fight of Bird, <laughs> who craps and flies, and I hit him in the butt. And now Bird comes back, so I can hit him in the face. And there you go, that's it. Not too hard, especially with this power. I also realize that if you have the rock ability, you're actually just better off with no ability. <laughs> That's That was the thing I've been thinking about, is it's, um, like, I wonder how many people do runs of Kirby with no powers, just to, uh, see how easy or difficult the game is, you know, as a challenge. But I also got to thinking, what would a single power-up run of Kirby be like? Because that interests me, and I feel like that would be fun to just pick a single power and then try and go through this game with it. Especially when you have 30 different opportunities to do so. So I think like a Kirby firework run would just be like the best thing to me, because I love the firework ability. And Well, it wouldn't be too hard and it wouldn't be too easy, I imagine. It'd be very tedious every time you die, but yeah. The no ability run, I feel like that's interesting, but I don't know. It's just a thing I'm curious about. So, I wonder who does things like that with Kirby games. Is that- Ooh, come on, come on. That's a real, uh, good way to challenge yourself with it. Those little guys right there? I didn't know, but they're Spark. So if you want Spark, you can kill them for it. And what I did think- What the hell? Something hit me. What I would think was that since it was impossible for me to get, um... I'm gonna want to put that away, actually. Let's get rid of the ability altogether. Since I thought it was impossible for me to get the ability, excuse you, that you would have to run here, get Spark, and then run back, and no, that's not quite it. Luckily, you can do it. Also, another thing I learned is for the Virtual Console version, the control pad works just as well, if not better, for um, making Kirby run. So if you're having trouble at all and you have Virtual Console, by all means, solicit the shit out of it. It's great. Also, a lot of times I'd get crapped out over here. Here it is, finally. But yeah, Kirby runs a lot faster, but you remember how I was complaining about him? You know, he was doing the slide and all that in the cloud level. Like, I was hitting left, and for some reason Kirby thought I was hitting down. I don't know why. I mean, the control pad on a GameCube is pretty small. It was the more effective, less effective. Alright, I'm gonna need both of you to stop. Die. Die. And that's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Well, there you go. I did it without even... I didn't die at all, did I? Alright, let's see if we can finish strong. We did! Awesome! Alright. Now, for this next bit, I found that the bomb plus needle works decently well. Like, I was hoping to have something interesting to show off, but I just... I wanted to try Ice and Needle, but Ice and Needle didn't really work out so well. Bomb and Needle worked out pretty well. It's a good way to uh, break his strategy, if you will. So I'm going to go get that real quick, which ironically is easily accessed right here. Anyway, this is a very thin favorite boss, if not just for the fact that he's a giant toy. His polygon count looks horrible, but yeah, there you go. As long as you're in air, he will sustain from using two of his attacks. This being one of them, but yeah, this kind of keeps you in midair, so it's nice to use. Quickly, quickly. And you need to hit him in the hands, so we're gonna, we're gonna shoot our little Kirby self at him. But yeah, it makes it easier because he only will attack with his hands when you're in air, and that's the way you need to damage him, so by all means, take advantage of it. Go up, Kirby. The problem with the uh, ice plus needle is that it, you can't move, and of course you're not going to be in air when doing things like that. So that's that was my reasons as to why not. In other words, I thought it'd be a cool way to show it off. That's his other attack that he usually only does when you're on the ground. So let's quickly. Nope, missed. Come on, buddy. 
Yeah, yeah, you got missiles. I'm very proud of you, but I'd appreciate it if you used your hands to try and sideswipe me. Boom! It still didn't work. I need you to use both hands, sir. Both hands. You're wasting time now. This is dumb. Could you attack me with both hands, please? That's a start. You're done, right? Right, okay. The other reason that Needle works decently well is you can move while being underneath him, so... I also thought maybe Fire plus uh, Cutter would work for this. I don't really know if it doesn't, but uh, it feels like it would work pretty well. Uh, I'm gonna need you to not land on top of me. Anything to get underneath him, really, and do some damage. Kind of breaks this phase of the fight pretty easily. He seems to only be hit, uh, hurt closer to the front, though. That's the bit I'm not understanding, but whatever. Just hang in here and you can take advantage of him. There you go. I made it a joke, and he landed right on me. Also, the background's pretty cool. Come on, Kirby. We can get it. There you go. It didn't even blow up. Thank you.